Once the patient develops pneumonia, it's time for the more aggressive hydrotherapy treatments. And this can actually be good even if you don't have pneumonia, but it is far uh, more potent than the other two types of hydrotherapy treatments. And this is the hot fomentation. Uh, notice uh, Jonathan, who is quite sick. He's got a cough. Uh, notice the personal protective equipment that's involved in this hydrotherapy treatment as the individual is actually has fomentations that are moist heat. Moist heat actually penetrates the lungs and goes far deeper. This moist heat is placed on his spine and on his chest and allowed to soak in. And then we use a contrast using a mitten friction. And this allows us to be able to give more heated treatment afterwards. The contrasts of cold also help the immune system. Interestingly, hydrothermal treatments, which is sometimes what we call them instead of hydrotherapy, is where we contrast the heat and the cold and both actually help our monocytes. They can both help our leukocytes in other areas as well. And this is something that can really produce some, some symptomatic relief, improved oxygenation. One of the things that we've also noticed is a moving of the oxygen dissociation curve to the right. What does this mean? This means that we're able to get more oxygen into the tissues themselves to help our immune system fight off these foreign invaders. And this is a, another great way of potentially never having to be admitted to an intensive care unit with COVID-19. If you're doing the hot fomentation treatment at home, this could be done with a towel uh, that it takes in boiling water, or you could actually use a moist towel and actually put it into the microwave uh, for a few seconds to get it nice and hot. There's ways of actually doing these hot fomentation treatments at home.